Hi friends, welcome back. So in the last lecture, we have seen the basics of state space analysis. What is the equation? And uh, today, <coughs> what we are going to do, we already discussed in the last lecture itself. Today we'll see, we'll form the state model for the differential equation, for the transfer function model, for the SFG model, for the electrical circuit model. So let me start the session. The state model always given by this is the x differentiation of the x x days uh, ax plus bu the output equation that is cx plus du okay the, this is the state space model if you are going to represent your equation or forming the equation in this form it means you are dealing with the state space format so today today we'll see the state model of the differential equation state model of differential equation very easy and uh, they're asking the questions in gate examination also so let me take one differential equation y triple days plus 2y double days plus 4y days plus 6y equal to u this is one equation i'm taking this equation is nothing but the differential equation you all people will agree with me isn't it this is the differential equation now in the last lecture itself we have seen the number of state variables the number of state variables is nothing but the order of the equation isn't it Are bolo bhai? yes what is the order? 3. So maximum state variable can come here in the state model of the differential equation for this particular differential equation is 3. Isn't it? Who are going to represent the state uh, variables in the equation? This x. This x is nothing but the state variables. How many state variables you have? 3. So you can have x1, x2 and x3. Okay, is it okay to you for this particular equation you can have x1, x2 and x3. How I am getting to know about this by the state variable. State variable for the particular differential equation is nothing but the order of the equation and here the order is the 3 so state variables are 3. It is okay I think. Now we will start it. Now how you will start you know. Watch it carefully. The first y, this first y, you will take here x1. This you will give x2. Here you will give x3. Here you will give x4. Ruk jau, ruk jau, ruk jau. You can't give x4 because maximum you have x3. Isn't it? So like this you will do. The y, this y you will take x1 any problem okay just next of it y days you will give x2 y double days you will take x3 this is the very easiest method i'm telling you so please be careful watch it carefully everything will be clear okay so what you are going to do is you are just doing y x1 y days x2 this and that Okay, now, now logic lagana padega. The logic says up to here, this one is okay. Now let's come over here. Can I, can I do something? Okay. When you will put y here, it will be x1 days equal to x2 isn't it why i am coming with the x1 days because i have to write the equation for the differential function state vector this is we call the state vector so always i'll come with the state vector so i can write the equation isn't it so simply this y you already calculated that is that is x1 so x1 days is equal to x2 isn't it now, now come here, this x3, 
this x3 is nothing but now you will put this equation in the sequence you will put so this is nothing but x2 days any problem y days is x2 y double days is x2 days so this is equation 1 this is equation 2 so is it clear to you people now now you have one more thing and that is uh, where is y double days you have right x2 and x3 and all right now you have one more thing that is and that is y triple days so y triple days will be equal to what tell me will it be x3 days any problem yet what I have done first I find out the number of state variables x1 x2 and x3 okay now I gave this y to x1 y dash to x2 in this form in this way okay perfectly fine now I relate just y I put the value of y so I'm getting x1 days I'm putting over here value I'm getting this now I have y3 triple days also that is nothing but the differentiation of this that is x3 double this everything is okay to you people now put this all in the equation 1 don't worry this is the general method later I'll tell you the shortcut everything will do by shortcut this is the general one okay so you have to learn this so in the equation 1 the y triple days can I write x3 days yes I can plus the next two y double days two y double where is the y double days okay here y double days here y double days is nothing but x3 so this will be 2x3 2 is given there plus 4 y single that is x2 isn't it plus 6x1 equal to u so in equation 1 you have x1 days value and you need that value to form this equation because this equation will be in the form of like x1 is equal to ax1 plus bu kind of isn't it so in equation 1 you have x1 days in equation 2 you have x2 days in equation 3 you need x3 days so you will keep this this side and you will take all this into this side you will have x3 equal to u minus 6x1 minus 4x2 minus 2x3 isn't it jada ho gaya kya jada ho gaya isko ek bar fir se dekho everything will be clear to you now i'm going to form the equation okay you have three equations now and the three equations are wait the three equations are uh, x1 days the first equation equal to x2 Chali ye ho gaya. next x2 days and this was equal to x3 now you calculated x3 and x3 you calculated that is u minus 6x1 minus 4x2 minus 2x3 now by this three equation will form the state model state model says the first one is x days that is three thing will come in this y3 order is 3 so x3 you can have this will be a and this is x1 x2 x3 the order of this is 3 into 3 okay plus b u so i'll write b u over here but let me come the x1 first so x1 days x1 days x2 is 1 rest of 2 0 clear x2 days only x3 point is 1 rest of 2 are 0 now come into x3 days minus 6 minus 6 minus 4 yellow minus 2 yeraha so this is nothing but a you can compare this 
plus B U. Now you need B, isn't it? So B is nothing but how to frame the B equation. The U is nothing but U one, U two, U three. Three inputs in three different equations, isn't it? So, or I think this will be like this: U one, U two, U three. So you need one matrix that is zero, zero, one. In equation three only you are getting u, no u here, no u here, zero, zero, one. So zero, zero, one. U one, u two, u three. U one will be here, u two will be here, u three will be here. Isn't it? So the first form, the first equation is over. Now let's form the output equation. Output equation is nothing but y equal to uh, c x plus d u. Correct. So uh this x is nothing but x1 x2 x3 now what is this c all about what was our assumption our assumption was y equal to x1 so in the y equation you need only x1 so what you will do you multiply this by 1 0 0 this is your y no transition matrix is there no d is here no transition this is the transition parameters okay so this is output y is x1 multiply these two things you will get y is x1 okay so this is the general method but how in the examination you will do now let's come to the funda how to write the equation watch it carefully this one is important okay no one will ask general method Correct. So, if you are having differential equation, the A will be, how you will form the A? The A is, the A is nothing but, here it start always, everywhere, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. In the last, why I am framing 3 cross 3? Because order is 3. That's why. Now you will start your journey from the back side and you will go this side and everything will come with the minus sign. Minus 6, minus 4, minus 2. That's it. This is A. How to find A? To find A what you have to do? These two rows will be same for all. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? Instead of this, suppose you have order in, okay, I'll take another example, so it will be clear to you. And how you will form, <coughs> you will start your journey from the back, you know, the back point of this equation, and you will take all with minus sign. Isn't it? This is A. What about B? B will be always like this, 0, 0, 1. This will be B always. What about C? C will be 1, 0, 0. This will be C always like this only. These two can be interchangeable. Means you can take B equal to 1, 0, 0 and C equal to 0, 0, 1. But prefer only one thing. B is nothing but 0, 0, 1 always. C is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 always. No need to think anything. These two things will be clear. You have to, you know, <coughs> set A. How to find the A? 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 6, minus 4, minus 2. Is it clear to you people? Good. Now, let me take the another example. So, it will be clear. 